Hey guys, Chelsea here with Gent Sense here with the channel Takeover. So I haven't done one of these in like literally forever. So I thought, you know, now's a good time. So I kind of came up with my own little video idea and this is what it is. We're going to do 10 fragrances that drive me crazy. However, five of those drive me crazy in a bad way not a good way, but five of those will drive me crazy in a good way. So yeah, um, let's jump into it guys. So I don't know where to start. Should we start at the ones I hate? Should we start at the ones I like? Mm, I guess we'll start at the ones that I like. So five that drive me crazy in a good way, we'll start with by Killian, Angel Share. So I love this one for many reasons. And actually I've kind of talked about this on a video that I've done with Ashton before. I love the bottle. The bottle is so cool. I don't know how many times like I can say it, but I love the bottle. They're so cool. And I mean, the fragrance that's inside, isn't bad either. It does really well with that whole kind of like boozy type of uh, like scent profile. Oh, uh, I love this one. This one will absolutely drive me crazy in a good way. I could smell, well, I mean, all of these I can smell on Ashton like 24 seven, literally all day, every day. But this one, is amazing. I'm not really putting these in like order of like first to last. They're just five ones that just drive me crazy. So, ah, uh, I love, I love Angel Share. So let's move on to the next. So I've got Y Eau de Parfum. I love this one, but also I kind of have to mention, I kind of have to mention the Y Le Parfum. I mean, I know in a previous video, I have actually picked this one over this one. However, really, honestly, I mean, it's so like close, it would be just really hard. Honestly, it'd be super hard for me to pick one. So, you know, this is my video. This is my video idea. We're gonna do it my way and I'm gonna pick them both. Yeah, so both of them, Le Parfum, Eau de Parfum, I love them both. Again, could smell this on Ashton 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Such a good blue fragrance. Like that's probably, I mean, I'd have to put, I'd have to smell all of the blue fragrances all over again. And you know, my, my thought process and my smells change uh, over the years as I kind of keep smelling things. But those two, are, I mean, they've got to be like at least in the top three of like blue fragrances for sure. But right now that is just, those two are just ones I just really want to smell right now. All right, so moving on to the third that drives me crazy in a good way. And that is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And now this one's the OG. So I, I love this one. It's like a masculine fragrance done Right. You know, I kind of a lot of times will lean towards the like super sweet, super citrusy, those kind of smells. But this one kind of leans more in the masculine direction and it's done so well. There's some of the flankers I really, really like also. But here lately, uh, I've just really been liking Dolce & Gabbana, the one OG. All right. So let's move on to number four. And this one to me was for sure like absolutely the most surprising one without a doubt <laughs> i know i'm probably gonna get like some flack for this but i mean you know everybody is different they all want to smell different things so you know whatever philip plein no limits this one it was seriously like super surprising so i remember actually when uh, mashin got this in the mail and I remember he pulled it out and like, we were both just like, this is not going to be a good fragrance. It's super tacky. We didn't really want to like it to begin with, but then I smelled it. And honestly, I mean, it's actually a pretty, a really solid fragrance. 
Oh, God, Jesus. I could sit here and like literally just smell these all day. I kind of almost like want to get to the side that I hate just so I don't have to sit here and like want to smell these all the time. Like I said, Philip Pline was just such a shock for me that it actually smelled really good. So I really wanted to include that on, include that on this list because it was just super good. All right, so let's move on to number five that drive me crazy. So that is Paco Rabanne Pure Excess Night. This one is just such a good, date night fragrance. I mean, definitely got to be up there on the list of like one of the best date night fragrances of all time. It's so good. This one, I wouldn't lump into like that just ultra safe category. I mean, if there was like a category just barely above that, I would lump this into it because it's definitely crowd pleasing, but it's not just like your typical, you know, sporty, fresh type of fragrance, but it's super crowd pleasing. It's definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna want to smell on somebody all the time. For sure going to be one that you can get close to somebody on a date and they are absolutely not gonna turn away and, you know, maybe throw up or something. So I've actually got an honorable mention because I loved this one so much. I wanted to throw it in there anyways. So, I mean, definitely last as far as the ones that I like, but not least, Interlude Black Iris. This one, again, it was almost kind of like a shock to me when I smelled it. It is so good. This one is definitely going to be more of a riskier type fragrance, not super off-putting or anything at all like that, but it's definitely not what I would consider, again, like in the super safe category, but yet it smells so good and I just want to smell it all the time. Uh, and also, while I'm mentioning this, Ashton has a code for twistedlily Dot com and that is gents10 so you can go on there and pick that up and see what I'm talking about for yourself when I'm talking about interlude black hours and I mean there's like I said there's no way that I could rate any of these from like first to last I mean they all just smell so good and I just honestly would totally smell them 24 7 I mean you could even spray some I you could spray some on before he goes to bed at night and I would probably like constantly wake up from dreams just sniffing that fragrance and loving it every minute because they smell so good. So those are five, technically six fragrances that drive me crazy, but in a good way. So let's move on to five fragrances that drive me crazy in a bad way. Like make me want to scream, pull my hair out. Like they smell super bad and I just never want to smell them again. But for you guys, I'll smell them again if I have to. So I got to start somewhere. And again, none of these are going to be ranked from best to worst. They just all aren't my cup of tea period. Uh, and for some of you out there, this one, you know, may be a little bit of a disappointment that it is on my list of ones that drive me crazy in a bad way, but sorry. It's Hermes H24. I, again, I remember when Ashton got this in the mail and he was super pumped because they hadn't released anything in a, in a long time. I'm just like going by memory off of however many months ago that he got this in and what he told me. Cause I remember that he said, again, Hermes hadn't released anything in a while and everybody was like super pumped and hot for this fragrance. And I just don't think it smells good. Yeah, I just don't really think that it like deserves the hype. I'm sorry, I just don't. I don't really even know what else to say other than the fact that I just, I just don't really want to smell it all the time. It just doesn't do it for me, I apologize. Uh, I'm sure that there's tons of people out there that really like it. I'm sure there's plenty of females out there that really like it. I am just not one of those females. All right. Let's go 
for number two. Luckily, I haven't smelled this one a ton. I think I only smelled it really once whenever uh, it came in. But like the Hermes, the H24, I remember smelling it multiple times because I really wanted to like it. I was like trying to force myself almost to like it. I just didn't. But this one, thankfully, I've only had the pleasure of smelling it once because it's just not good. It's Lolave 7 Plata, and I really hope that I am pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, but you know, whatever. It's got mandarin, mint, uh, I think pink pepper, there's ginger, there's, I mean, a lot of good notes in it that are in tons of other fragrances that I really like. However, for whatever reason, this one just, it's just not done well, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's actually, I feel like bad smelling. Like there's a lot of fragrances that are out there that, I mean, they're not the best in the world. However, they don't smell bad, but this one just, I actually think doesn't smell good. All right, so on to the next one. This one, God, Jesus Christ, how in the hell do you even spray this thing? First, before I even spray this, let me just like show you. It's Davidoff Champion. I like, oh, I can like feel myself getting, you know, just some like crazy muscles right here just as I do it as I curl. Uh, this one, you know, reminds me of a fragrance that somebody would probably want to wear to the gym. However, I just don't really think it's a gym fragrance. I don't really think it's a good fragrance at all. And plus, like which end do you even know is supposed to come off? The bottle's tacky. It's terribly done. I, I don't know. I just, I just dislike this fragrance in general. It just does not, like it doesn't even smell like a gym fragrance. It doesn't smell like a sport fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything except for just bad. It just smells bad. Maybe if you're like 17, 16, I don't, I don't even know a scenario. Actually, yeah. I don't even know a scenario as to when that would even be good. I really don't. All right. So we're on to number four and it is, as, oh God, Jesus. It's a Zaro Decibel. And I can't even like spray this. It's like literally just shooting all over the floor right now and not even in a good way. It just smells almost like nothing. The atomizer is awful. I, I get what they did, like decibel microphone, but again, it's just kind of one of those bottles. I like classic bottles kind of the most. I think probably the most daring, dangerous bottle that I really like is probably by Killian, like those, the Angel Share type bottles, those, um, the gin or whiskey or whatever those types of bottles are. That's probably the most daring type of a bottle that I like. It's different, but to me, different in a good way. These like bottles are just not even attractive to look at. So if you have a shelf or something where you're displaying all of your nice fragrances, those are just not attractive to look at. They're just, I mean, they're not classy. This one, uh, the atomizer is terrible. It smells almost like nothing, like soap. But again, I could be missing the atomizer because it's literally like a straight shot. It just like shoots out at, I mean, like a high rate of speed. Like you can't even catch it. It's like somebody throwing like a 90 mile per hour fastball at me. Like I can't even catch it with this thing with my tiny little baseball bat. There's no way. All right. So the last one, and no, there is not a bonus bad one. There's, you know, not too many terrible fragrances out there. Um, but you know, this one is going to make the list, unfortunately. Dunhill Icon Racing Blue. This is another one that just, I, I remember when Ashton got this one and the red one uh, in the mail, and I remember smelling them both, but this one, I remember just being like, oh my God, it actually like doesn't even smell good. It just doesn't. It's, it's just one of the, I don't mind the bottle, actually. I don't mind the Dunhill uh, Icon bottles at all. I think they're actually kind of uh, neat little bottles. I like them, they're classy, but kind of a little bit different. But the fragrance that is inside of it is just not good, period. I mean, some people out there may like it, but I just don't. It's not something that I want to smell 
all the time or even sometimes. So, all right guys, that is gonna do it for my channel takeover. 10 fragrances that drive me crazy, five in a good way and five in a bad way. However, with one little sneaky bonus getting in there on the good side. So 11 in all, but you know, we got some winners, we got some losers. It's just gonna happen, it is what it is. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure Ashton will be back tomorrow for another fragrance video.